This video will cover installing sonar, radar, jellyfin, and transmission with VPN support into our Ubuntu Docker environment from the previous video. We'll also install Portainer to manage our containers. If you don't have Ubuntu installed, you can follow this video here. Otherwise, let's install some containers. Copy the container configs into Notepad. And now let's put it into our Ubuntu server. Type in pwd to list out your current path. You should be in your home directory. We're going to make a folder called docker. And then change to that folder. And then type pwd again to get our path. And go ahead and copy this path. And back over to notepad, we're going to use the replace feature, control H. And we're going to find the word replace me. all capital, all one word, and we're gonna replace it with the path we just copied and just do a replace all. And that takes care of the container configs for the most part. Transmission is the only one that still needs attention. So down here at the very bottom, I'm using NordVPN in this example. NordVPN actually offers a application password. So let's jump over to my Nord account now to get that password. It's this service credential. We're gonna grab this username and back over to notepad. On line 54, it's the open VPN username. And then let's grab the password as well. And then we need our local network. So back into our putty session. You type an IP address, it'll list out your network. And this being a slash 24, so my network is 192.168.1.0 slash 24, which I have here. Now with that set, we can copy and paste this config into Putty. Now that the containers are installed, let's browse over to Portainer on port 9000. Create an account. We're going to select Docker here and connect. I go ahead and select our local environment. And we're actually gonna set our endpoint first. So let's go to endpoints and then click on local. And where it says public IP here, either enter your IP address or your host name. And then update endpoint. And then now let's go back to dashboard on the left and then we can go to our containers. And now we can see here our containers are up and running. First, let's test transmission to ensure the VPN is working correctly. TourGuard has a torrent file that you can download and check which IP is being reported. Using the link in the description, go to the TourGuard's webpage. Right click and copy the link's address. Back to Portainer and let's go to transmission. And then we're gonna add this URL. And we can see the torrent file here. So back over to TourGuard's webpage. We can see the IP being reported on transmission. And to confirm, open up another tab and just Google what is my IPv4 address? And this address should not match the same as on the tour guards webpage. If these addresses match, your VPN is not working. So we can see here that the IP addresses are different. So moving on back to Portainer, let's go down to Jellyfin 
and run through its initial config. So select your language. And we're going to create a user. And we need to add our library files. So in our Docker config, it maps to data movies. And the same for our TV shows. It is mapped to data TV shows. Go ahead and click next. Be sure your metadata language is correct in your country. Adjust the remote access settings if necessary and then click next and then finish. And then now back to Portainer. Next on the list is Radar. So let's select Radar. And on the left hand side go to Settings. And then Download Client. And then click the plus button to add a download client. And we're going to be adding Transmission. Give it a name. And your IP address. and select test should get a green check mark and then save and then over to indexers click on show advanced here and then click on the plus button i personally don't use torrent files so i don't have any torrent indexers so we can add the rar bg because it works out of the box let's go ahead and select rar bg and then test and save Roar BG only works out of the box for some reason if you enable advanced options. You can even hide them afterwards and it still works, but you you got to click show advanced before it will work. So now that we have our indexer, let's go to movies on the top left and we'll just add a test movie. We'll add family guy. And give it our path, which is just our movies folder. And you only have to set this to the initial movie that you select. For now on, it should remember the path. So just click on Add Movie. And we'll let it do its thing. Back over to Portainer. And let's set up Sonar. Under Settings, Download Client, click the plus button. We're adding Transmission, just like we did previously in Radar. Test and save. And the indexer will be the same. We'll be adding the raw BG indexer. And then go over to series, add series, and we'll add family guy as a test. Select a path and we have to add a path originally. Again, it will save this moving forward. So just select our TV folder. Okay, this. And then we'll, do, we'll just do the latest season. Click the magnifying glass to do a search now. And let's flip back over to transmission and see what it's doing. And we can see here a bunch of Family Guy episodes are starting to queue up. So let's wait and let this download. Now that we have an episode that that is finished downloading, let's check Jellyfin for the finished download. Jellyfin does not auto refresh like Plex. You can schedule media scans, but it won't detect changes on the fly. So let's rescan the media libraries.
And there's Family Guy. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.